so this is drawing and interpreting force diagrams. So if you have a four kilogram box sitting on a ramp, this dot represents that box, so this is just setting up the diagram. And so this, there's always the force of gravity pulling that object down, so you've got to have that there. And then the normal force, which is the ramp force that the surface is pushing up on the box, so that's normal force. And because it's on a ramp, you also have that X and Y force, so the X force is basically like the box that it the force kind of wants it to fall down in a way, but it's like still like. And then there's the FY force, which is the other force for the box <laughs> sitting on the ramp. <laughs> So this is calculating momentum and comparing momentum. And the formula for momentum is P equals mass times velocity. And so here we have a 20 kilogram car moving at 20 meters per second. So we do P equals 20 times 20. And the momentum is 400. And then over here we have a 100 kilogram car going at the same velocity, 20 meters per second. So we do P equals 100 times 20, and that momentum is 2,000. And so we compare these, you see how they have the same velocity, but each one has a different momentum, uh, because this mass is so much bigger than that one, that this momentum has to be bigger. Okay, so this is how you solve for your three types of energy. Kinetic, gravity, and elastic. So first we'll start with kinetic. And so there, the formula for kinetic is EK equals one half mv squared. So here we have a full 40 kilogram bowling ball moving at five meters per second. So you just plug that into your equation. 40 times five squared and you get 500. Okay, so then the next one's gravitational energy. So there's a 10 kilogram dog named Baxter on the cliff. And um, the equation for gravity is EG equals M mass times gravity times H, and gravity always equals 9.8. So it's a 20 meter high cliff, and it's a 10 kilogram dog. So EG equals 10 kilograms times 9.8 times 20 and then eg equals something so then let's move on to elastic okay so the formula for elastic energy is e e equals one half k x squared and k is your spring constant and x is the stretch so here we have a car that hits a spring and bounces back and the constant is 3 and the stretch is 5 so then you just plug that into your equation it was 1 half 3 times 5 squared and e e equals a number and that that's it all right this is solving for average velocity and speed and so there's a ball that is falling 100 meters in t equals 10 seconds. And the formula to solve for speed is s equals distance over time. And so you would do s equals 100 divided by 10, and you get 10 meters per second. Okay, and then, so if you're solving for velocity, velocity is the displacement the displacement over the displacement of time and so you would do because there's like it's you're dropping it from 20 meters to five seconds so you do v equals 20 divided by 5 and v equals 4 meters per second 